This is Ben McGahee with Yammy Chess. I'm going to be your math teacher today. Yammy Chess is the math learning aid based on classic chess that helps students in math and science education for school. In this lesson, we will learn about addition and subtraction story problems. So it's like short little word problems using the operations of addition and subtraction, adding and subtracting. So some important um, keywords that we want to look for in these problems that will help us know what operation to use in the problem. So if we look at addition, some keywords that we will find maybe are plus, together, or all together. And so if you can tell in the problem that there's things that are adding up, adding one thing and to another thing, then you know you have to use addition. So we have to use the plus sign um, in this type of word problem. And then there are keywords for subtraction as well for the minus sign. We have minus, we have what's left, or have left, or left over. And so those are um, basic keywords to use in subtraction problems. Now notice here that I've only put three keywords for each of these operations. There are many more keywords that you can see um, in story problems, but um, these are just some basic ones to help you get started. Um, so let's look at an example problem. So the first one up top in green, you have Luke earned $25 cutting the neighbor's grass on Friday. He earned $15 washing the neighbor's car on Saturday. How much money did Luke earn all together on Friday and Saturday? So we know he did $25 worth on cutting the grass on Friday and he did $15 worth washing the neighbor's car on Saturday. So how much money did Luke earn all together on Friday and Saturday? So you notice that the word all together, this is a key word from addition, right? So this tells us that we need to add the amount of money that he did cutting the neighbor's grass, which was $25 and then he earned fifteen dollars washing the neighbor's car on Saturday so we need to add these two numbers together so we'll do twenty five plus fifteen and so when you add the two digit numbers you always start right to left so you do five plus five is ten so zero carry the one and then you do 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4. So Luke earned $40 on Friday and Saturday. So that's a good amount of money, $40. Okay, so let's look at the second problem. So Nancy has to drive a total of 80 miles from her hometown in Northville to Village Park. She has driven 60 miles. How many miles does Nancy have left to drive until she reaches the city limits of Village Park? How many miles does Nancy have left to drive until she reaches the city limits of Village Park? Okay, so we know she has driven a total of 80 miles all together. That's what she has to drive all together. And then she's only driven 60 miles so far. But how many does she have left? So there's keywords there, have left. So this means that we need to do subtraction. So we know she has 80 miles to drive total. 
when she's only driven 60 miles so we need to figure out how many miles left does she have to drive till she arrives at Village Park. So we do subtraction 80 minus 60 so we do the right to left just like with addition the 0 minus 0 is just 0 8 minus 6 is 2 so it looks like she has 20 miles left to drive until she reaches Village Park. Okay, so those were a couple examples for the short story problems using addition and subtraction. So now I'm going to give you a couple of problems to try on your own. And let's read them out loud. For the first problem, we have the Wolverines football team scores 7 points in the first quarter plus 15 points in the second quarter. How many points have the Wolverines scored in the football game? So you want to know how many points the Wolverines scored in the football game. And then the second problem, Brett needs two cups of milk for a recipe. A cup is 8 ounces. He has, he only has 10 ounces of milk. How much milk does Brett need for the recipe? So you want to know how much milk does Brett need for the recipe. So remember to look for those keywords um, in each of the problems. So in the second problem, there might not be one of the keywords that we went over, but um, kind of just look at other words in the problem to give you a clue of what operation to use, either be addition or subtraction. So I'll give you a chance to pause the video to work on these two problems, and feel free to rewind the video if you need to check those keywords um, for addition and subtraction to help you know which operation to use in each of these problems and then we'll go over the answers okay so let's go over the answers so we have the Wolverines football team scores seven points in the first quarter plus 15 points in the second quarter how many points have the Wolverines scored in the uh, football game? So we know they scored seven points in the first quarter. And then plus, oh plus, there's a keyword, 15 points in the second quarter. And we know how many points did they score in the football game. So let's take a look here. We have plus looks like that's with addition right so it looks like we're gonna have to add in this problem so we need to add 7 and then plus 15 okay so when we add a two-digit number and a one-digit number we're always going to put the two-digit number on top and add that to the one-digit number on the bottom and notice that uh, the one digit number it always lines up in the ones place of the two digit number. So this is the ones place and this is the tens place. And now we add from right to left as usual. So we do uh, 5 plus 7, that's 12. So we have 2, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So 22 points. the Wolverines have scored so far and that's pretty good you know only two quarters and there's four quarters in a football game so at halftime they have scored 22 points so they're doing very good Okay, so let's look at the second problem. This one's a little more challenging, but let's let's take a close look at it. 
We have bread needs two cups of milk for recipe. So two cups of milk for recipe. A cup is eight ounces. Eight ounces. So he only has ten ounces of milk. So how much milk does Brett need for the recipe? So we want to know how much milk does Brett need for the recipe. So we know he only has 10 ounces of milk. So this kind of kind of tells us that you know he doesn't have enough milk for the recipe. So this kind of indicates that we need to subtract something, right? Because we need to know how much more milk he needs for recipe. So we know that one cup equals eight ounces. Okay, but he needs two cups, two cups of milk for the recipe. So to find the, the amount for two cups, we're just going to do, we'll just add 8 plus 8 together. Because we know a cup is 8 ounces, so we just add another 8 to get 2 cups. And we know 8 plus 8 is 16. So we can say 2 cups equals 16 ounces. But um, Brett only has 10 ounces of milk. So how much milk does he need for recipe? So we the recipe calls for 16 ounces, but he only has 10. So we need to subtract 10 from 16 to see how many more ounces of milk Brett needs for recipe. So we'll do um, uh, 16 minus 10, so we go right to left again with subtraction, just like with addition. So we do 6 minus 0 is 6, and then the 1 minus 1 is 0. So all we needed was 6 ounces left. So Brett needs 6 ounces for the recipe. So that second problem is a little more challenging um, since we didn't have like exactly the exact keywords that we talked about, but it did give us a little bit of clues if we look very closely. And notice that we had to use both operations in the second problem because we had to add 8 and 8 together because we needed 2 cups. We knew a cup was 8 ounces. And then that gave us the 16 ounces. And then we had to subtract that from 10 to give us 6 ounces. And in the first problem, we just had to add um, just the points together to see how many total points the Wolverines have scored in the football game. So some of these problems, you'll only require you to do one operation, just addition or subtraction, or you know some problems may require you to use both operations, just more than one operation. So it's good to, to read the problem very carefully and underline any keywords that you see that will help you um, determine which operation to use. And there's our answers, 22 points, 6 ounces. So if you have got those um, answers correct, great job. You have a good understanding of how to um, read the short story problems and convert those into um, mathematical sentences with addition and subtraction. This is Ben McGahey, and I want to thank you for watching this video lesson on short story problems with addition and subtraction. Please stay tuned for more lessons on yammychess.com. Have a great day.